joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, the ambition flow inside my DNA. I was Oh, did we start? Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be mending this t-shirt with a darning technique. This t-shirt I pretty much had for 8 years, maybe a slight bit more. Um, it was actually given to me by my mom and throughout the years I've worn it down and it started to rip in the bottom and it's just got this huge hole. It's super big. And it started to worn down and I figured I really wanted to mend it. I don't want to get rid of clothing. I want to keep it and preserve it for the longest time possible. So I figured the best way to mend it would be by using the darning technique. The materials are black embroidery thread, an embroidery hoop, a darning needle, and a small scissor. We're going to take the t-shirt and spread it out. Open it. And now turn it inside out. Then open your hoop and you're going to want to attach it. Place it in there nice and tight that is stretch and stretch it very well so it's nice and tight in there. Now we're going to take your scissor and trim it. Mine's had these loose loose fabrics and I wanted the hole to be a nice shape. So I just trimmed it out. We're going to thread our needle. You're going to take the embroidery thread and make it as long as you can. Not extremely long, but a really long length. So you have enough thread to go back in and out. Optional, this is an optional material. What this wax does is that it stops your, fabric, your thread from knotting. So it's really helpful. It's not something that you have to use, but I recommend it. Once I have the needle threaded, I go in and create almost like a back stitch this way I insert it in then turn it back in into into the fabric and then I pull it out and then you see this this the shape the hoop like the hoop like arc of the thread I enter it there and that locks it in without you needing to create a knot and it gives it a really nice finish I've been doing this when I embroider now we're going to do this and now you're going to continue all throughout the hole. You're going to create this the, these loops so you insert it in and then you, you go across to the other side. You move to the side and then move across over and up, over and up, over and up and you have these constant loops. And this is why you want the thread to be really long because you don't want to have to re-thread as you go. If this happens and you have to re-thread, that's fine. Um, you go in and create this back stitch. Lock in the stitch by back stitching. Next, what we're going to do is going to weave it in. This weave will look like a checker box. Um, what you're going to do is thread your needle the same way as we did in the beginning and now you're going to lift the thread up and then go under, up, under, up, under. And I didn't start right from the beginning, I started almost like in this area here. You don't have to start from the very start to finish. You can start even in the middle and then work your way around like this. And I've continued this same process all throughout. Under over under over under over and this is what you want to do as you work on it and you see that there's still space in between the threads you can go back in and fill it in because what you want it to be is this nice tight checker like finish and then eventually after like two hours it took me to to repair this it turned out like this completed once you're all completed your very last stitch is that back stitch and remove the hoop I recommend to just iron it 
because it flattens it out and then that's pretty much it it's a very simple weave that gives it a nice decorative element it doesn't even look like it had a hole it just looks like you added a, an effect to your shirt you can't even tell that there was a hole there this is how it looks that's pretty much the whole tutorial I use black so it can have this um, seamless finish and give it just like this textural look but if you have a huge hole and your shirt is like let's say white it'll be super cool if you use like a green or an orange or a pink it'll just make it bold and pop also posted a written tutorial where you can print it out and have it with you as you repair your huge t-shirt hole also see Celia she's like a really cool artist that uses the darning technique to repair clothing so please make sure to check out the blog post next Saturday is December and I'm looking forward to our tutorials for December because they're gonna be our make December gifts <laughs> for you to like make gifts and give them to your family member or friends that will love something that you make by hand so I'm really excited about next December or make December month another thing make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet it's that button right there that says subscribe make sure to subscribe and share the video anyone that you want to share the love with I'm gonna go make a cup of tea I'll see you guys next Saturday <laughs>